Hey, uh, this is Christoph from DataBridge. That's my first video in 2022 and I would like to show you how you can do such nice info icons which adapt their color to whatever you define as a criteria and it shows some different informations when you hover over it. It's quite simple to do that. Let's go to any app. We won't even need a reload. Then we go to the charts and look for a tree map. So we look for a tree map. And for the moment, let's make it a little bit bigger. But then we reduce any noise that we don't want to see. So we don't need a hover menu. We don't want to have titles here. And actually, the only rectangle I want is it's one rectangle. So I put here a pseudo dimension, which is value loop from one to one, which will create only one cell. So we turn off headers and labels here. We turn off the leaf labels. So it's just a painted rectangle. And it paints even when you make it really small like this. And now the trick is we want to color this according to a criterion. So we will change the color here from auto into by expression. And because I hate repeating myself, I will create a variable because I need the same criteria for the coloring as for different texts in the tooltip later. So let's create a variable. We call it V criteria one and the definition will be something like, let's say when we select too many objects, we will show a different color and this will be param one. And if we have like over 20 objects, and this is just an example, you will find much better formulas in real life. It's here and then we have the third param there is the first criteria is when it's over 50 and when it's over 20, the second criteria and the third criteria is when it's over three. So close the brackets. We're good. Don't start with an equal sign that would mess it up. It's just the formula with no equal sign. So then let's close this and go to this and let's use it. Now I can say equals V criteria one. Put this in dollar brackets and we need now three arguments and guess what the first one will be red the second one will be orange I mean this is a CSS color so you can put anything here instead of writing the word green I could give it like the click green here so it already shows orange uh, the colors, when I clear it, I get the red warning. And if I select only a few, then I will get it green. So it works, the coloring. However, when I hover over it, I see this boring um, pseudo dimension, this one and this one, which I don't want to see. So let's have a look now what to do with this tooltip. And this is really nice. Turn off the basic tooltips. I did it already. So click on hide the basic rows and now we can go with a friendly title for example uh, I want to greet the user by his name and I say hi Christoph and in the description I can put another time a formula based on my um, variable that I created so as you remember the variable needs three arguments uh, which is for the text to show this time and this time it's not the color but the text and I wanted the uh, red text to be this orange text to be this and the green text to be this well and you can even add measures in an organized way for example the counting of the objects that I've selected here I could put like this and say number of objects and guess what? This tooltip will be customized like this. Hi, Christoph. Only a few objects are selected. If I clear it and it says, well, you have selected too many objects. And our tooltip is perfectly working fine. This is what I wanted to show you. 
this can pimp up a lot of applications, I guess. I see you in the next video. And in the meantime, please check out our homepage for more sophisticated solutions around tooltips. I have a guided tour extension on the marketplace, which does way more around documenting applications to a user. See you next time. Bye-bye.